Weight loss is all about learning to say no. Learn to say no. Want a sip? Want a bite? Or ten? Saying no to obesity. There are too many obese people in the world today, or so it may seem, with the number of obese folks you run into on a daily basis. However, what about the people that, who said no to obesity? As a child, you were raised to be considerate to others and to accommodate them as much as possible. How do you know exactly when struggling with weight gain is enough? And more importantly, are you saying no to yourself by saying yes to bad food choices every time? Chances are that is exactly what you are doing, even if it's only subliminally. We're wondering when is the time for you to use your nose effectively? We've got you covered. Put that no on your palm. Piling on the stress. Oh my. Not being able to say no can greatly contribute to elevated stress and weight gain quickly. Not taking control of your diet can cause feelings that can overwhelm and end to chronic stress. And people who cannot say no are usually the first to stop trying. It is important to understand your own boundaries and limitations, and while helping others is important, you have to take care of yourself first. This means sometimes saying no to friends and family in order to maintain an optimal level of weight, health, and wellness for you. You know, you got to love yourself first before you can love anyone else. Feelings of obligation. Hey, Ma, no more, please. I can't take it. Have a little more. You look so skinny. This, by far, is the most common cause of resentment in person since they are basically forced to say yes to eat unhealthy whether or not they want to. Maybe the person pushing you to eat unhealthy is a close friend or maybe a family member like your mom. You know, she used to say, there's starving people in the world and you're not going to finish that? You feel a sense of obligation to always agree to whatever people offer you. But you need to ask yourself, when do I decide for myself? Will you continue to feel forced sense of obligation not to offend forever? This constant obligatory situation builds resentment and resentment can literally make you physically ill and fat. You need to let them know you have to put yourself first by doing what you need to do. If an issue arises, it may be best to sever ties and remove a toxic person from your life or your diet. Junk Food Addict A secret junk food addict. A lot of people are munching on the side. We sincerely hope you are not a secret junk food addict. Though we can't fully understand the need to unwind under a t after a tiring week's work, there's absolutely no justification for making junk food your drug of choice. Can it be the result of friends asking or guilting you to eat unhealthy food even though you better, your better sense says no? You may not consider bread, pasta, rice, or cereal to be junk food, but because they are carbohydrates that turn into sugar the minute they enter your body, they are junk food. You're not doing yourself any favors as you will be gaining weight, not to mention being likely stressed and miserable. Saying yes to that is saying no to your well-being. Look at this picture. It's ingenious how they put this together. Hamburgers, french fries, onion rings, slices of pizza. It, it, if you look at it, it's quite disgusting. Not speaking up. There are undoubtedly been numerous times when you sit quietly while someone or someone's or something boils your blood to the point of an eruption, yet you show no outward emotions and turn to food. This can range from a boss berating you in the office, a bully, or a random stranger who finds it appropriate to critic your body. By allowing it, you are doing just that, rolling over and assuming the fetal position. Open your mouth, demand respect, and speak for what you want to accomplish. It's up to you, and only you, to finally gain control of your health and body. Tell the little voice to shut up. No is not a bad word. No is not a bad word. It has been criminalized via society and the illusion that things must be okay all the time. 
you will only end up resenting yourself for being weak and not ever doing what you want to do by allowing others to walk over you. You need to look after yourself before you look after anyone else. Lead by example. Tell the little voice, no. Watch your thoughts, for they become your words. Watch your words, for they become your actions. Watch your actions, for they become your habits. Watch your habits, for they become your character. Watch your character, for they become your destiny. Watch what you eat, because that becomes the fat on your waist. We offer two wonderful ebooks that uh, we've been sharing with many of you. The power of mindfulness for weight loss, you know, being in the moment and realizing what you're doing to your body. And the other one, The Canogenic Diet, Discover the Low Carb Difference. This book could change your life. It's well worth the investment. We still are offering our wonderful e-course packages that we created, not put out by some company. We created this. We offer three price points, the bronze, the silver, the gold. Go to SaturdayDiet.com to get a whole presentation of what's included in those wonderful packages. It's immediate download for all the products that we offer. Again, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Let everyone in your world know that this wonderful program is available free of charge. See you on the next video. And look out for the number one person in your life, you. Bye-bye.